Yo, do you use Zoom? Do you like playing music in your Zoom? Okay, I, I want to help you take your audio inside of Zoom from sounding like this. To sounding like this right here. Let's get it. Hey, what's going on party people? My name is Walter Jeanette, founder and creative director of Create, Inspire and Solve. And on this channel, you can expect to find solutions that are gonna help you build a better brand, that are gonna help you grow your business, and that are gonna ultimately help you build a community around the things that you're most passionate about. So for those of you returning to the channel, thank you. And for those of you watching for the first time, thank you. Because this is your first time watching, feel free to hit that subscribe button. And while you're hitting that subscribe button, go ahead and click that bell so you can be notified every Every single time we post new content to the channel but let's get into today's topic so i use zoom quite a bit and whether it's for work or whether it's for some personal things and and i had an opportunity to uh, actually dj um this party for new year's or whatever using zoom and the audio didn't go the way that i really wanted it to go um and and i'm like yo i'm, I'm using ecamm you know my overlays all of that you know all of those things are tight you know so visually everything looked great but the audio wasn't what i wanted to wanted it to be even though i'm using the uh the roadcaster pro and so i didn't realize that me going live like i normally go live whether it's facebook youtube or even on instagram that audio is going to be a lot different than the way zoom audio actually works zoom has some things going on where they're processing the audio for you and and that's just so you know to cut out the echo cancellation and try to make the best experience possible for people that are just using their computers using their phones using the tablets ipads or something like that and they're using the built-in mic on those devices well when you're using a setup kind of like i use that's more of a, a professional setup then that will actually work against you but zoom i did find out i, I can't take credit for this i gotta give shout out um to my guy um the sound technician james dobbins shout out to him over at uh mrc shout out to the fam millennium revival center um but he he said hey um have you ever heard a true sound or original sound and i'm like no what's that a plug-in he was like no that's a setting inside of zoom so that way whether you're a dj whether you're playing music or anything like that it's going to allow you to hear the original intent so so the way the music sounds if i'm playing it in itunes spotify or whatever that's how it's going to sound on the zoom call blew me away because i'm like yo i wish i knew that 30 days ago so i'm going to take you inside of zoom just to show you where that setting is and how you will actually set that up all right all right i have zoom over here open and you actually want to do this before you even go into your meeting and let me take this ecamm window push it back over here so i'm just going to simply go into the settings i'm going to click on the cog wheel i'm going to go down to audio and then you'll see right here I don't know why I never paid attention to this before, but it says music and professional audio. So if you hover over the little help and info card, it says this option automatically disables zoom noise suppression, removes high pass filtering and removes automatic gain control. So that, that choppy warp sound, a lot of times that you hear when people are talking or maybe when you're trying to play music because the bit rates really don't match. You know, so with music, you got a very high bit rate trying to come through Zoom and, and because they want to support the amount of people that are using it in the servers, by default, this is turned off. Um, so again, it is recommended for playing music and it's for studio like environments with high quality microphones, speakers or audio interfaces. It is not recommended for use in noisy environments or for general meetings you so again we're not talking about just your normal everyday zoom thing we're talking about hey if i'm running a meeting or something like that if i'm doing something inside of zoom somebody hires me this has happened say hey you know we want you to be able to play music control the production this that and the third i can actually do all of that push the music through and the way it sounds in my ears the way the way it sounds to me that's how people are going to hear it in zoom so what i'm going to do is actually click on this and then i will get other options so again, we have the high fidelity music mode, we have echo cancellation, and we have stereo audio. So again, high fidelity music, optimize zoom audio for the highest quality music. It can increase CPU utilization and consume greater network bandwidth, yada, 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 for best results in ethernet connection. It's strongly recommended, of course. I hope, hopefully if you're streaming or anything like that, you are using an ethernet connection especially if you're using a virtual cam 
from something like Ecamm or OBS or VMix running into Zoom, all right? So what I'm gonna do is actually enable high fidelity music mode. I'm going to turn off echo cancellation, all right? I'm going to do that because for me, because nine times out of 10, I'm gonna be the one that's actually controlling this. So I'm gonna turn off echo cancellation and it already tells you, disabling zoom echo cancellation algorithm, a headset or a high quality microphone is strongly recommended. So I'm turning off echo cancellation. If I'm in something like a family reunion type zoom and it's a bunch of us and I already know they don't have the setup that I have them probably, I'm gonna leave that on because I can control echo cancellation on the Rodecaster Pro. But for purposes of this, I'm gonna turn this off. And I could enable, you know, to the audio in stereo. Um, yeah, let's just do that. You know what I'm saying? Cause we're not necessarily using a surround sound th type thing. So, but again, the same thing is gonna use a lot of CPU and definitely consume greater band work, uh, bandwidth. So, you know, um, stereo capable microphone or audio interface is necessary, all right? And because I'm using the Rodecaster Pro, you can actually see up here that everything is getting pushed out stereo. I could do multi-channel, but everything is already coming down to two channels left and right, all right? So I'm actually gonna open up a Zoom meeting, show the virtual camera so you can actually see and hear what this sounds like with this on and then with this off. So the first per portion will be with it turned off, the second portion will be with it turned on so you can see how dramatic the difference is, all right? Yo, if you rockin' with your boy tonight, let's get it poppin'. This is what it's supposed to sound like. Turn up, turn up, turn up, turn up. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. I hate when the DJ is talking, let's go. All right, and there you have it. Now you know what it is you actually need to change. I'm telling you, when you turn on that original sound, it makes a world of difference. You let me know, what do you think? Does it sound better? Or could you have lived with what it sounded like the first time? But look, if you're a DJ, if you're somebody that's trying to liven up the party, if you're a family and you got some things coming up and you wanna hire a DJ, you wanna bring somebody into your Zoom to say, yo, let's really get this thing hyped, let's get a lit, let's get it popping. Yo, make sure that they watch this video. Share this with your favorite DJ, share this with your favorite creative. Anybody you know that's planning a party soon, share this with them. And again, I appreciate y'all so much for watching. Again, remember, hit that subscribe button. Hit that subscribe button. And while you're hitting that, click the bell notification so you can be informed every single time we post new content to the channel. But until next time, make sure you create something today. I'll see you guys in the next video.